This is a Fairphone 4 with a speckled green back cover. It is currently my main phone. It's running Ubuntu Touch. It looks and works a bit different from vanilla Ubuntu Touch because it has hacks and tweaks that I developed myself. So what's on my phone? On my lock screen, my wallpaper is red so it's themed with shade of reds. There's this experimental feature I call Dynamic Cove. It has a timer, a stopwatch, a way to play my music playlists, and I can control media playback. So it's basically a collection of functions I want to access from my lock screen. In Ubuntu Touch, there's a vertical panel called the Launcher which is accessible from the left edge. This is where I pin the apps I often use. First pinned app is Sapot Browser. This is a fork of the built-in browser, Morph Browser. It has the normal things such as bottom gestures for switching between tabs. But what I like in this browser is the bottom gestures I added to navigate back and forth between pages. It also has some other neat bottom gestures to easily access stuffs. It's basically a full screen experience all the time. However, I don't use it as much anymore because I also made the web apps to behave the same way. Example here in the Twitter web app, I can do the same gestures. Next is Teleports, it's a Telegram client. Ubuntu Touch community mainly use Telegram for communications and activities. Next is Tagachuos. It's an expense app I made, but it's more of an expense diary because it doesn't have budgeting features. It's just my way to track what I bought and when and for how much. Next is Talon, my to-do and checklist app. I also made this app. I mainly use it to list all ideas that comes to mind. Next is just Twitter, it's a web app. I have Proton Mail, which is a web app as well. Deco2 is an email client, which I use for Gmail and Yahoo. I can't use Proton Mail on it because it needs a special program for the encryption. On my app drawer, I have a page of my favorite apps. I have things like Open Store, it's like the Play Store. WayDroid, it's a way to run Android apps. I mainly use it for Facebook Messenger when I'm outside, so I don't have to pull out my Android phone all the time. I have Pod Phoenix for my podcast consumption. I don't really use this page much since I already have the launcher for my most used apps. Next is the utilities page. My favorite here is an app called ISO Drive. This one is cool. You basically download ISO files and instead of flashing USB drives, you can select an ISO then connect your phone to your PC and you can boot that ISO. Great for Linux distro hoppers. Next is the entertainment page. They're mostly social media apps and very legal streaming sites. Next is the games page. One of favorites, Circle Jump, pretty simple but really fun. I also have Gear Boy for emulating games that must not be named. Next is the dev page. Mostly apps I used for testing and developing. Here's QML Creator for tinkering and prototyping with QML. Next is the cloud page. I self-host a Nextcloud server and use these apps to utilize it. Last page is just a list of all installed apps. I can quickly access these pages using this swipe selector. My favorite feature is called Quick Actions. I can access it with a swipe from the right bottom edge of the screen. 
Upper part is for switching between apps, but the bottom is reserved for quick actions. In quick actions, I have apps like phone, messaging, contacts, calculator. I don't use them often, but it's nice to have quick access to them when you need them. You just swipe and boom, it's open. I also have here a way to access a calendar and my upcoming events. It's usually accessible from the top, but with quick actions, I can access it easily from the bottom. Next is notifications page for well notifications. It also has the quick settings or control center. Then I have other apps like settings app, camera app, authenticator app. Then actual actions like search my expenses or add new expense. There's quick access to scanning QR codes or currency converter. Audio recorders, notes. I can also do a quick web search. It opens another of my apps called Salixic. I can even have access the power dialog if I want to reboot or turn off my phone. I can also toggle the flashlight from here. My keyboard has a simple bordered theme with both light and dark mode. On the top left, I have buttons such as undo, redo, tab, move text cursor. Swiping from the bottom moves the text cursor. On the top right, I have access to emojis in the clipboard or my saved texts. Bottom right gesture has actions such as select all, copy, cut, paste, and delete all. Bottom left gesture has actions such as move cursor to start or end of line. Cut all, copy and select all and paste. So that's what's on my phone.